How's it going, pipe drivers? As you know, Pipedrive offers more than one product to you, our customers, because Pipedrive is growing with you. And if some of your teammates are using exclusively one product, for example, the sales team is using the sales app only, or the marketing team might be using the campaigns app, you should definitely check out this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how with our new per product permission sets, users with account settings access can configure permissions for functionality that is actually used by your company users. Let's have a look at example company Enterprise Federation here, run by an admin Stacy Robinson. Here, you can find the list of all users who have access to this company account, as well as track their individual permission sets. To invite new users, all Stacy has to do is click on this button. Then she enters the email addresses, and she waits for her teammates to accept the invitations. Once you've added new users, you can edit the permission settings before inviting them, or you can stick with the default ones. You can also edit the permissions after the invite is sent at any time if you do need it, so there's no real hurry here. And you can find all the active users here, plus the invited ones and then deactivated users are here. You can also filter the pipe drive users by the specific permissions over here. But first, let's have a look at how those permissions are organized in Pipedrive. In the Permissions tab, you can manage what different types of users can do. Each app has its own permission sets. Additionally, there are some global permissions and account settings. This way, it's really easy for your company to use Pipedrive and provide access to the specific features to only those users who need them. The level of customization you are able to add to your permission sets is set by which Pipedrive plan you're currently on. So if something seems missing, just check your subscription. But since Stacy doesn't have any apps, such as Campaigns by PyTribe, which is used for email marketing campaigns, she can only control access to the Deals app, which also includes the Leads inbox. Now there are three types of users, Admin, Manager, and a regular user. But if you're on the right plan, you can create as many types of user sets as you'd like. The admin permissions are default and can't be edited because the user can see and edit all data within the app he or she is an admin of, with the exception of emails that are marked as private. Also, all admins have automatic access to add-ons, which you can see over here once activated. Now the global permissions are for managing all cross-product data such as contacts and activities. You can view all the permissions over here and get more info about them. Basically, these are universal across Pipedrive and all of its apps, and are the only permissions that aren't directly linked to a specific app. It's important to note though, that the global permission set alone cannot be assigned to the user, meaning the user needs to have access to at least one product permission set in order to also get the global permission set. Same as with app permissions, you can't edit the admin rights, but you can adjust the permissions for the manager and regular users. For example, Stacy doesn't want the regular users to set up new custom fields or export data from the list view, but she does want everyone in this permission set to have access to the insights sharing feature. You can set all that up here, like a boss. As mentioned previously, if you're on the right plan in Pipedrive, you can have multiple custom permission sets. While doing this, just choose the name, description if needed, and the product you'd like to add this permission to and you can duplicate a set from an existing one. Then here you can find account settings. With this enabled, you can access company account level setup, such as a security dashboard, user management, company settings, and billing. There are no admin, manager, or regular users here. You either have access to those settings or you don't. If you don't have access, you're not able to see or edit these settings. Now that you know how permission sets work, let's go back to the users and access tab. Stacy's teammates have already accepted the invitations and here she can edit the permission sets for each person in the team. She can edit it in bulk by choosing a few users here, or she can choose a specific user and edit their permissions and access. For example, she wants Chase to be a deals admin and global admin as well, but she doesn't want him to have access to the account settings because she wants to manage the billing and security by herself. Stacy can also check all permissions the users have over here. This sign means a user has admin access and this one stands for app access. And this one means the user has no access to that app. So to sum it up, 
One user within PyDrive can have different accesses from each block. The user could be the sales admin, campaign's regular user, a global admin, and possess account settings access. Also vice versa, the user could have only a few accesses, only account settings access for example. But that's it with users and permissions everybody. Hope those updates will make access configuration way easier and more focused for you. Until next time.